Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. So today I am doing your upcoming weekly tarot reading. This will be for roughly November 23rd to the 29th. Now, as always, if you happen to come before the 23rd or after the 29th, really, as long as these readings resonate, then trust that they are for you. Okay, Aries. So the way I like to do this is I'm going to shuffle these cards, get down some cards, lay down a layer, just to get an idea of the general and dominant energies that are happening for you this week. And then we will go in, pull a few more cards, dive a little bit deeper, clarify these energies, and kind of unfold the story as we go. So let's see what's happening for you this week. Um, this is November 23rd to the 29th. Happy Thanksgiving to those of you who do celebrate out there. All right, let's give these a few shuffles, Aries. See what's happening for you. This is for my Aries. Two more. All right, let's stop here. All right, the situation. Beautiful. Challenging you. Where's your mind at? What are you focused on? Okay, your approach your environment, and then the near future, what is coming towards you. All right. Wow, there is a partnership here. That is the situation this week. There's something in the environment that's really got you stressed out here. I don't know. There's uh, This partnership is so important, but like you're, you're guarded this week. Let's see. We're going to go in and clarify, but this is the situation. This is a really important partnership in your life. It can absolutely be romantic. It can be work. It doesn't matter. This is a divine partnership and a very important one in your life. And that's the situation this week. You're challenged by the four of pentacles. So I don't know if it's your finances, maybe needing to get your foundation in order. But um, every time I see the four of pentacles, I do think that there is a sense of like feeling guarded and protected and like not letting out what's in our head, certainly not giving off what's in our heart. And maybe that's needed. We'll see your mind what you're focused on oh my god we got the tower that's sudden change that's bringing the tower down aries um ruled by mars <laughs> so there you go mars is now direct in aries after having been retrograde for two months so i'm sure you're feeling much more like yourself I feel like um the energy and the passion is back um for all of us but yeah this is like major change sudden change this is wanting to tear something down to make space for something new this is shocking energy this is wanting to make somebody respond and react. Wow. That's where your mind's at. Your approach is beautiful. We have the Ace of Wands. This is hit and reboot and restart on your own life. Feeling excited and passionate, investing in yourself. I love that. In any environment, there's something that's stressing you out here because we have the Nine of Swords. So it's very like a card of stress and anxiety. It's a card of sleepless night, right? Our thoughts taking over our minds and not allowing us to sleep, not allowing us to live in peace. Um, all right, and then coming towards you, we have the hangman. It can be a Pisces, but I feel like this is you not forcing anything, taking a step back to flow. You're just like, you know what? I'm going to surrender to this right now because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do when it comes to the situation. I feel like I've tried things. I've never dealt with something like this, and so let me just relax. Let me hang out here. I'm surrendering control. With that, you do gain enlightenment the hangman into the situation you start seeing it from a new perspective in ways you hadn't seen it before all right let's clarify the situation with this two of cups at the bottom we have the two of wands yeah okay two twos direction change all right tell me about this two of cups for aries november 23rd to the 29th yeah tell me about this two of cups you know, I just like, okay, wow. Um, let me grab all these cards first. But it's like the situation is a partnership and your approach is a personal reboot. So it's like interesting. Um, let's see. Now that we got these back in order, let's clarify the Two of Cups again for Aries. What is this Two of Cups about this week? What's the situation? Tell us more. All right, three more. Clarifying this two of cups. Seven of cups is at the bottom. Page of pentacles, ace of wands. All right, we got two aces of wands. We got the seven of cups. All right, I think, I think there's a partnership here that you really 
see some potential in. It's got you excited. It's got you motivated. I think you're like, you're like, okay, I'm really open to this partnership. I think we can do something here. And I know there's a lot to learn. I know that we're just at the beginning of this journey, but I feel like you're really open to some partnership here and it's got you feeling excited about life again, Aries. Wow. If it is romantic, we do have a lot of sexual energy. Let me mention that. Uh, a lot of sexual energy, if it's romantic. But either way, you're pretty open and excited about like creating some new reality with somebody here. There's a partnership here that's got you excited. It's got you really motivated. All right, in the challenge position, let's clarify this Four of Pentacles. Maybe you're just not giving off exactly how you're feeling. Tell us about this Four of Pentacles. What's this Four of Pentacles in the challenge position for my Aries? Tell me. Clarifying this. Um, again, it's, it's just like not it's keeping things close to yourself, not letting people in. Um, Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. And again, maybe you're just worried about your foundations for some of you and you're just like, I gotta secure this. Um, all right, two more. Clarifying the Four of Pentacles, we get the Chariot and the Four of Cups is here. Yeah, I think you're like, okay, the Chariot is about choosing a direction and then laser focused, going in victorious after it. But I feel like you're not sharing it. I feel like you're like kind of a little closed off from things. We have two fours here. We have the four of cups and the four of pentacles. And I think like we're saying no here to a lot of things. And I feel in, I feel like we should be saying yes to something. There's two aces here and they're like invitations, right? These are blessings from the universe. Totally trying to come through. And you have two cards here that are like, especially like that are like arms crossed and they're like, no, I'm not taking it. No, I'm not having it. And there's something here that's like saying, you can have it if you see it, if you choose to see it. Because, you know, in this Four of Cups on her shirt, it literally says like over it. So she's not seeing what she already has, nor is she seeing what's trying to be given to her. Right. And so I feel like it's just like if you choose to see it when you when you see it. When you start to see it, you're going to be unstoppable. And maybe it requires a little bit of letting go. And I see that coming anyway with the hangman. I think there's a little bit of a need to let go. Trust a little bit. Let go of control here. Because we got a lot of controlling energy too. Um, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But there is a need, I think, to let go of a little bit of control and to kind of see what we already have and what is trying to be given to us here. All right. On your mind, we have the tower. This is a major shake up here. You're like, oh my God, this is a major change. Sudden change. Tell me about the shower. The shower. <laughs> Tell me about the tower for Aries. Let's take that. Seven of swords and the high priestess. Yeah, I think you're in a situation right now that you are trying to get out of Aries. And maybe that's part of it. Maybe you're like, I can't really make a move yet because uh, there's something that's got it stuck. But the Seven of Swords here, you know, it, it is a card also about like open dishonor. But I feel like it's really you trying to get out of a situation and you know it. You're using your intuition this week and you're like, okay, I don't like where I'm at. I don't like what I built here. And I'm, I'm excited to go in some new direction. You are. And I think you're even like using your intuition about how to cut your losses here. What's the best strategy? Basically, what is the best strategy going forward? Because you want this to change fast. Fast, 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 fast as of yesterday. You're over it. <laughs> you're over it. Literally, I'm over it. Um, you don't like the situation you're in and you want that to change fast. And you're now in your head this week, Aries, just saying, okay, I need to spend some time with myself. I need to go within. I need to figure this out. Even willing to cut your losses, like I said, you're just, you got your mind on some strategy here. And it's like, there's a situation you're in that you don't want to be in anymore. Because what? Because the Ace of Wands is here because you're ready. Something got you excited and motivated. And you're like, this is the energy I'm stepping into because this is what I want. All right, tell us more about the Ace of Wands in your approach areas. What's this Ace of Wands about? This is you bringing the fire back into your life, bringing the passion back in. Feeling full again, vibrant again, excited again. All right, tell us about the Ace of Wands in your approach. Yeah, but you're ready to tear the house down, Aries. Whew. All right, three more. 
All right, clarifying your Ace of Wands, we get King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. At the bottom, there is a Two of Swords. Yeah, it's still feeling a little stuck, but I think I think you, you're using your intuition. You're just figuring out the strategy. I don't think you're stuck as much as you're just in a place of figuring out strategy. Yeah, your approach is you're ready to put in all the work that's needed for this reboot for your life. You're committed, you're dedicated, you're hardworking. Some of you might just really have a lot of work to do this week, you know. Some of you might be perfecting a skill, mastering a skill. Um, but this is you ready to put in all the work to bring the passion and fire back into your life. That's your approach. You're like, I'm gonna separate myself from everybody. I gotta do me, I need to focus on myself right now. I need to bring this passion back into my life. Um, wow, all right, in the environment, that's where that stress, I was feeling it from with that nine of swords. So let's see what's causing this stress and anxiety. Um, and maybe that's the situation that you're really like, I need to get out of this. All right, tell me about the seven of swords in your environment, Aries. Yeah, I just see you working really hard, focusing on tomorrow, focusing on strategy. All right, tell me about this nine of swords in the environment for Aries, I'll take it. Knight of cups, five of swords, yeah. You could have had a serious fight with somebody you love. Can absolutely be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You know, maybe you're getting a message from somebody and it just, man, it gets you so in your head. I don't feel any playfulness right now. I don't feel any of that fun right now. That sweet energy. Again, maybe you get a message here, but it, it just, it's, you're conflicted. It makes you fight. It makes you have a fight. Um, it could be about a fight you had. Just a lot of mental, stressful anxiety in the environment right now. You know, the kind of energy that's like, it helps to have a conversation with somebody who helps you relax. You know, that kind of energy who creates a safe space. All right, coming towards you is the hangman. I feel surrender after so much stress here. There's a need to let go of control because it wasn't working anyway. And so that's what you do. After like trying to control it, you finally let go here with the hangman. <laughs> Two of swords comes out. It's like letting go of control here. All right, tell me more about the hangman coming towards Aries. What's this hangman about? Again, it can always be a Pisces, but I certainly feel more let going, let going, letting go of control than anything else. And then I think in that state of like surrender, you really do gain more enlightenment. You start seeing more into a situation. You just, you see, you see it from a new perspective, deeper. You might even change perspective. All right, tell me about the hangman coming towards Aries. Three more. Stop here to clarify the hangman. Justice. The hanged man, wow, can definitely be a Pisces coming towards you. Justice is here, but I, <sighs> you're gonna get enlightened, man. We have, boom, there's a state of surrender. I love the hanged man, because um, the hanged man teaches us that when we actually let go, things start flowing in our favor. The best way to control something is actually by letting it go. The universe has the fastest, shortest, best way to do everything. We think we do, but it's really the universe, right? So when you let go, things start flowing. And you start seeing things bigger, more. You gain enlightenment. Really powerful. Um, and justice is here to let you know that things will be fair and just. They will be recalibrated. If something was wrong, it will be corrected. Wow. Things will be recalibrated and rebalanced. Justice is coming. Something happened in the past that wasn't right. I think you're going to start seeing it. You're going to start seeing and connecting dots here with the, with the hanged man. You're going to start really connecting dots here with the situation. You're gaining enlightenment. You're letting go of control. And there's a sense of karma coming through in a beautiful way. Okay, Aries, I'm going to leave it there for you, of course. And again, it can be with the Libra. Let me mention that. But um, I will leave it there for you. If anything does resonate, please like and subscribe as always. Thank you so much for letting me tune into your energies, Aries. I'll see you all next week for my regular weekly forecast readings.